Unit, transporter malfunction. Transporter is out, Captain. You'll have to stand by. I can't. Power level's dropping too fast. He'd better hurry. Acknowledged. Mr. Scott, speed is of the essence. miles from the planet to end, closing fast. Bridge, transporter operational. But this jury rigging won't last for long. He's got to come off now. I'll stand by here. 1,500 miles in closing. Captain, transporter operational, but just barely. Prepare to beam me aboard on my signal. in closing. Transporter, stand by. Steady by, sir. Five hundred miles in closing. Mr. Scott, 20 seconds to detonation. Mr. Scott. Mr. Scott. Try inverse phasing. You beam me aboard. Ten. Nine. Eight. Mr. Seven, Scott. Six. Try to know, Mr. Kyle. Five. Four. Captain. Sensors show all energy sources deactivated. It's quite dead. Mr. Sulu, ease us back to minimum headway. Conserve power as much as possible. Lieutenant Palmer, tell Mr. Scott to expedite repairs on the warp drive. Poor well, Matt. He gave his life in an attempt to save others. Not the worst way to go. Indeed, Captain. I presume your log will show that Commodore Decker died in the line of duty. Indeed, a child, Mr. Spock. Ironic, isn't it? Way back in the 20th century, the H-bomb was the ultimate weapon, their doomsday machine. And we used something like it to destroy another doomsday machine. Probably the first time such a weapon has ever been used for constructive purposes. Appropriate, Captain. However, I can't help wondering if there are any more of those weapons wandering around the universe. Well, I certainly hope not. I found one quite sufficient. Mm -hmm. 